get off track. In Jerusalem, the Lord of Heaven's armies will spread a wonderful feast for all the people of the world. Of the world, it will be a delicious banquet and clear with clear, well-aged wine and choice meats. Now, there are some other interpretations of that scripture that says there's going to be all kinds of good foods. Okay, this just says wine and meat. Well, we can't just about on wine and meat. So there's going to be other foods. Okay, but it's going to be a feast. Uh, you know, back in the biblical times, everything was celebrated with food. Mm -hmm. Feast, okay? Whether it was the Feast of Tabernacles, whether it was the Passover, everything. Mm -hmm. The Lord brought plenty of food so there was no problem on what we were going to eat. Okay? And he's describing it right here. It will be a delicious banquet with clear, well-aged wine and choice meats. In verse 7 he says, there will be there he will remove the cloud of glory, the shadow of death that hangs over the earth. Now this one kind of stopped me, so I have to read a few different versions of it. Mm -hmm. All of us are going to die on this earth. Okay? So we all have this gloom over us. But the Lord, when he returns, okay, will remove death from the world. Now, and unfortunately, in chapter 24, a whole bunch of people are going to die. Okay? But when he returns, there will be no more death. So when we think about that, that's hard to fathom too. Okay. What, what are we talking about? Well, when Christ was raised three days after death, he walked the earth. He actually visited his disciples. He ate food. Now, if he was raised, and he wasn't a human body, he was raised too. Now, this happened 2,000 years ago. So God has probably perfected it now. So as we think about, is this possible or not? Now, have we ever seen it? No. But we believe it. That part comes to me. There he will remove the cloud of gloom. Gloom is death. The shadow of death that hangs over the earth. Everyone on the earth is going to die. Right? The only question is, will you live again? Now, I don't know what that entails, okay? uh, but if I can live again, I don't care how I live, I want to live. Grandfather died, dad died, and I'm next. Okay? So this is real important to me, not so important to you. Okay? But I'll say this, if Christ came back next year, it would be important to you. Okay? Now, the world doesn't know that, so they're not concerned about that. We do, and we must share whatever we can share with them. So that they would know. Okay? Didn't say it was easy. It wasn't easy for Jesus either. In verse 8, he says, He will swallow up death forever. Swallow up death forever. So when he returns in the millennium reign, that means a thousand year reign of Christ, there won't be any more death. That's a mouthful, bro. There won't be any more death. Christ has the ability to remove death from the world. It's hard to explain because no one's ever seen it. Okay? It's not hard to imagine, but it's something that's part of his reign. There will be no more death. There will be no more hurt. There will be no more sin. There will be no more uh, bad behavior. That's a nice thing. Right? Bad behavior. Okay? I struggle with this one, sister. I struggle with it. Especially the part that's coming up. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe out all tears. Mm -hmm. Well, if no one's going to die anymore, then what are we crying about? When my dad died, I cried. Okay? For a couple of days, when my mom died, I cried. God is going to remove this feeling. Mm -hmm. What we have to endure because of death. Mm -hmm. What we have to endure because of hurt. He's going to remove it when he comes back to here. That's just a wonderful thing. It's a glorious thing. And it's something we almost can't even comprehend. Yeah? But start visualizing. That's what I do. I'm visualizing seeing Jesus. What do we look like? I'm visualizing seeing Stephen, who was the first martyr. So everyone that's already passed on, if they believe in Christ, they're still alive. We just can't see them. But we will get a chance to see them. Even you, my brother. 
because I know you're going to believe because he's going to lead you. So as we think about all these things that are possible or not, but they're all possible. Just know that it's something to look forward to. I know mother looks forward to seeing her husband if he was a believer. Her child, I look forward to seeing my mother. I know she was a believer. 